So I've just been cleaning out my loft and I found another whole suit which I'd totally forgotten about. So let's see what's in the pile. Alright, so here are all the pieces. Now this is a suit I made before I made my foam Iron Man, so it's one of the first foam builds I did. Um, some of it's not very good, but also some of it's got squashed because it's been in the loft. So that's the helmet, which um, <coughs> is basically the wrong shape and it's quite crude. So I'll probably uh, throw that away and make a new one. Um, I seem to have all the pieces, so we've got uh, some form of cod plate, which is kind of a, a waist strap that unvelcros, and then the front part attaches on. Now we've got the midriff section that goes just above it, whichever way around it goes. So I've got uh, most of the arms, I think. So again, there's quite a lot of gaps in the foam and lots of crude things when I started foam building. Um, so that's, uh, what have we got there? A shoulder and a bicep. The shoulder I kind of freehanded, it's not quite the right shape. Should have a pair of those. Um, again, some of these bits are a bit squashed, but we've got there the thighs and the shins for each leg. And over here I've got the torso, so... Um, <coughs> What I actually did with this to stop the foam warping was put some um, expanded polystyrene insulation board inside, uh, which is kind of linked with bits of cardboard and all that's hot glued together. And it's also got these uh, metal strips made of aluminium which velcro to the front of it, which has also got this packing inside to hold it rigid, so they fit together quite nicely, um, just basically stop it hinging here. Obviously again you can see some of the build is quite crude, there's a lot of gaps in the foam. Um, but let me talk about that in a moment. So I also bought a number of uh, guns and things. So I made this in fact, which is the shoulder cannon. Um, it's basically cardboard tubes with foam wrapped around and ever such a lot of paint and some PVC pipes. It's not exactly like it was in the movie, um, but it will do. You can have some more detail added, I guess. Um, I never built the bracket that holds it onto the actual shoulder. So that's something I'd like to do. And I'd like to make that mechanized as well. And I've also got this plastic bullet belt, which goes somewhere. Um, for the uh, weapons on the uh, arms there, I actually bought a pair of plastic machine guns on eBay. This is about three and a half or four years ago, so don't ask me where I got them. Um, they're quite good, actually. They've, actually. they've actually got a laser in them. So here's the box, I don't know if you can track these down, and um, it says hop up version, don't really know why it says that. Action, double action, semi-automatic design, one-to-one -one real scale, completed high grade type music gun. The best for ages three and up. So there we go. So what, you want me to put it on? Well, that's the best I can do by myself. Obviously, I could do with some shoulder straps and a few other bits and pieces. Um, I can't quite keep my arms on. Um, definitely needs refining, and I definitely need lifters in my feet so that uh, the legs fit. Obviously, there's nothing holding this together at the moment. So let's have a have a think about what needs to happen. So when I originally made this, I just basically, um, as I say, made it out of foam, but then I just painted the foam, so I don't know if you can see just there. Um, basically the paint flakes off quite easily. Um, since I've had this down from the loft, there's loads of paint dust everywhere where the paint has flaked off. Um, so it wasn't very good, and this is a, a while before I thought about sealing the foam to make it shiny, and um, you know, using PVA and using Plasti Dip and products like that. So you may remember in my channel a while ago, I posted a video about plastic coating foam. So this is foam on the inside. It's then been primed with PVA and um, a bit dusty. 
And then I've used polyurethane casting resin. In this, in this case, it was smooth on the 65D, which I um, put on the outside of the piece in very thin layers, and then obviously painted it with normal car paint. It's the same paint I use for my Iron Man suit. Um, so uh, there's two advantages of that. If you're going to build a foam suit anyway, then it's always going to be foam. But um, so it doesn't give you much strength, but it does give you quite a good finish because it's a, a smooth plastic coating. And also it fills in quite a lot of the gaps. So this was just a test piece, but you can see along here there were some gaps between the pieces and now the, obviously the PVA and the resin has gone in there to fill them in. So this is fairly tough. It's slightly flexible, but um, you know, you can squeeze it and stuff without it cracking. But ultimately, you know, it's a foam suit and uh, there's certain limitations. If you want a really hardy suit, then you should, you know, go and make one out of Pepecura with paper and cardstock and fiberglass. But anyway, so um, for these pieces where, you know, we've got gaps in them and all sorts of things, there's quite, quite a lot of gaps in between those pieces. Um, coating it with PVA, about three or four coats, and also the, the resin, so plastic coated, it's going to make a much better finish. So um, I think the suit's not too bad anyway in terms of proportion, but I'm um, obviously improving the quality and then I can paint it and it'll be nice and smooth and glossy instead of um, looking like painted foam with the paint flaking off. So that's the first thing. Um, it's going to involve getting all these pieces and going and coating them with PVA and plastic, which might take a while. But ultimately we can revive the suit and bring it up to standard. Um, then I need to put some sort of strapping system in that holds the arms and legs on and that sort of thing. Um, and then we can talk about the weapons. So uh, this video is just a summary because I just found this in the loft and forgot it was there. So watch out for the next part which will happen sometime, I'm not sure exactly when. Um, and watch me revive my war machine suit.